Alright, so in our previous tutorial, uh, we showed you how to set up a uh, image plane projector. Um, pretty much all we did was we created a camera, went to the options box, checked orthographic, uh, added an image plane uh, sequence, then um, we positioned it using the uh, sliders on the camera and on the um, hand center uh, on the image plane center uh, and got them all rotated and into position uh, so that they are always opposite of the model uh, so that you have the camera on one side, the model in the middle, and the uh, reference image on the opposite side. So now that we've done that, we can uh, just uh, kind of repeat the process um, with a regular uh, camera. And uh, go to camera, make sure it's an orthographic one, hit create. So now we're just going to look through selected. Actually, we're not. Um, we just want to make sure that we've got a faster way of switching between them. And we want them to roughly be um, where we'll be looking at them. We want to see the uh, object in question. Yeah, that's one way of doing it. Um, could have just looked through select and hit. Looked keyed it that way. So now I'm going to just do the opposite. And we're just going to select the attributes, RMB hold, key selected. Gonna do the same thing for the bottoms uh, with the finger spread. Let me just check this one real quick and look at it. It's not in the correct position. Oh, that's right, it's not. Because uh, in that one, it's actually. Okay, so let's just copy these values real quick. That one's fine. What is the attribute that's actually changing? It's the rotation. I'm going to change that to 90. Actually, I can just go like, like so, hit copy, go to 6. Did that work? No, it didn't work. Because otherwise it'd be moving. Translate Y. Translate Z have changed. Copy the Z. Paste the Z. Key selected. Copy the Y, paste the Y, key selected. So now these two are exactly the same. Oh, they changed sides, the thumb changed sides. It's not supposed to do that. Okay, which side is the front? That's the front. If it was the bottom, it would be facing this way. 
the thumb is on the wrong side. So I've got to unreference this. Click my other camera. And rather than mess around with all kinds of, oh, I don't want to mess around with the scale. I'll just rotate it. No, oh, wait, that's not right either. Over the bottom of the hand, the thumb. Actually, the only way for me to do this is to flip it. Oops. Yeah. Negative point nine three five. And I'm just going to oh, kind of have to keep this for all the other frames too. Where's the graphic front? So yeah, you just got retaught on how to do that yet again. Front. Set this to reference. Maybe now I can continue. Um, so let's just check this again. Top close, that's right. No, you know what? No, I'm not going to. Three. Why is this all tilty? Oh, that's right, it's transitioning between the other ones. And luckily, there's a lot less values to change in this. Yay, so it's all done. Um, now you've got Let's just rename that camera real quick. Alright, so let's just check this real quick. Modeling ortho cam. That's the top and it's closed. The thumb is pointing towards the front. And you'll notice there's no view cube, so that's a disadvantage of uh, doing this versus the regular ortho view. Um, but ortho view doesn't allow you to change between them as easy. Bottom thumbs pointing that away. Front thumbs pointing towards us. Back thumbs pointing away from us. 
top thumbs pointing towards us and bottom thumb is pointing that away so it is all done that is the end of our tutorial on creating um, orthographic modeling cameras now we can actually start to model. Model, model.